In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a J-beam from this cube in Blender. Hello everyone. How are you? How are you? How are you doing today? Um, I was answering a question for someone, Daniel Scott. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm slow at uh, checking stuff on Facebook. I don't get on there much. I'm slow at checking everything, so. Anyway, here's your answer. So, in the user folder, if you want to make a new mod, you got to go to the user folder, which is, you know, the user folder, not the install. So, dot twenty nine is our current version. You go to the vehicles folder. In there, this is where your mod will reside. But he's going to need a new home. He doesn't have a home yet, so you got to make him a new folder. That folder is your mod. Whatever your mod is, uh, how about we make a mod of a, a box? How about we do that? So in that folder, you got to have an info file, which is an info.json. That is a text document. You can make a new one by just new text document. And once you name it, put .json. You'll need to have Windows showing you the file extensions, of course. Now open that info file with notepad plus plus or your favorite text editor the name here I'll zoom up for you this is the name of your mod this is what will show when you go to vehicles and select a mod box did I call it box or cube okay box see that's important so we're going to save it. Now we're going to close this all because I have other stuff open. Now we need a new JBeam file. This is a JBeam that has everything filled out except it does not have the nodes, it does not have the, the uh, beams, and it does not have the triangles. The things that make the physics, basically, are absent. But everything else is in there. These are used so that we can recycle and not have to retype all that stuff every single time. Who wants to do that? Not me. So I recycle them. I'm putting it there. And I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it whatever I want to call it. But since I'm making a box, I guess I'll call it a box. It doesn't matter what you name that. And when you open that, you can name it here at the top too. Box. Now I'm not doing much in here other than just showing you, you know, that. Because this program does the same thing that the beam editor does. In fact, I stopped using Notepad Plus Plus to edit my beams a couple months ago. Because this is so much better. This shows you what you're doing. See, what you see here is what you would normally see in Notepad++, and you get to see the J-Beam. And it makes it easy to do work in here, because you can connect things and whatnot, and it, you don't have to type it. So, that new J-Beam we stuck in there, we're going to drag it into here. That box. We're going to put it right there. Now, you don't see anything. Because, like I said, 
it doesn't have any nodes yet everything that defines what them nodes will be is there but the nodes aren't the beam strength and spring damping and all that stuff's here but there are no beams and there are no triangles now the first thing you gotta note in here is the flex body now that's important because that's the mesh and blender so when we load blender and we'll just use this basic cube because it's already here we don't have to even make anything I just delete the camera and that light because I don't want to see, that ain't going all we need is that cube I ain't even done anything to it it's just in the spot where it spawns the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the left view here or the that view it doesn't matter just a side view so that I can move it out the ground so that it's up there like that now do you see the problem there's a orange dot that's the origin point for this box it needs to be back down here so you just have to just remember anytime you move or you rotate anything in here to always remember to apply all transforms when you're done that way it knows its home is where uh, zero 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 uh, is now this cube we're not sending it with the name of material uh, for the name of the texture because you will do that you'll have a lot of things named the same thing so you just make your new texture name so this will be my new cube now we need to put some kind of image on it now if you're new to blender then this is the material properties when you select an object in object mode you can go to the material properties and base color is that's the only one you got to concern yourself with that's the only one that beam ng will understand not any of these others so this base color you will want to use an image texture and so I'm gonna find an image probably the very first thing that I find because I ain't looking for a long time how about this gravel now to see the texture preview we can go to here now I'm not concerned with how that looks on there I just want something on there for the purpose of this video so that's fine now what we need to do is save our blender file we save our blender file in that new mod folder that we made that folder it's new home uh, we save the blender file there now we can export the DAE which is that box which is called cube you can name it whatever you want to name it as far as this part goes but I'm gonna call it cube this is the only thing in here at the moment so I don't have to concern myself with saying selection only because there is nothing else so it's all going that will copy the textures so basically you don't have to do anything at this point but export Kaleida now if you go back to that folder you'll see in here now that you have the texture that was assigned in here you got that new J beam that you copied in there at the beginning of this you got that info file that you have to have in order to see the name of the mod you got the exported cube the DAE and you got your saved blender file now that cube it's called cube here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna now export the J beams for this cube which basically what are now vertices of this mesh will become nodes what are edges these lines here will become beams 
and then it'll make triangles out of this and then those will be the collision triangles so file export jbeam cube successfully exported one jbeam cube note if you do not save your blender file it will not export you save the blender file so it can export where you saved your blender file in this case it made a folder called jbeam exported we'll open that up and we'll see a cube dot jbeam we can now take that cube and drag it into this window not over here over here and there's our jbeam that is going to represent our mesh from blender the way it's going to do that is we got to copy these nodes from this one and paste them to this one then we got to go back and we got to copy the beams from this one and paste them to that one then lastly we copy the triangles and we go and paste them and that's it that's all there is to making a cube j-beam now there's other things that I clearly have not mentioned like the reference nodes the reference nodes all you can think of this is like this pick a dot that's where the camera will pivot around you tell it what is to the left of that dot what is behind that dot and what's above it so if I made that the reference node that is number NL4 that goes right here NL4 if I say what's behind NL4 well I could just say NL0 is behind it and what is to the left of NL4 well that's NR3 I'm sorry NR6 and what is above NL4 oh well that's NL5 and that's all there are to reference nodes now the camera knows where to pivot around and in the distance here is how far away it'll spawn from the camera I'll just do three meters and you know what I never fool with the distance minimum I just usually make that the same this is how high the camera is offset from the ground now before I forget there's one more thing to do we have to change the name of the flex body to the mesh in blender and we have to decide a group name for it we'll just say group a and then in the node section we will make the grouping for this object group a now we'll save and we'll load oh you know what you probably want a picture to look at so take your screenshot in blender and then go to your favorite photo editor paste that screenshot use the crop tool tell it to crop two to one ratio crop flatten image now change the resolution after you've cropped it two to one to 1200 by 600 scale it now export as or save as if you're in Photoshop but export as 
and in that folder for that mod, that box, name this exactly this default.jpg. Or if you want to make it a PNG, you can. But once you export that, and we will have a cube. What can go wrong? One thing can go wrong when you spawn your J beam or your mod. You don't see the mod, but you can hit control and left click and see the the J beam for it, but you don't see the mesh. Hit the tilde key and read the error there. It'll tell you that you're missing the the mesh. If you go back to verify in your J beam file, you'll see that in the flex bodies you forgot to change the name of the mesh to the name that's in Blender, which is a cube. You may have forgotten to give it a group name. So give it a group name. Letter A, for example, will be the group. And down before the nodes begin, make sure there is a group that also has the letter A. That should fix that problem. <laughs> 